Hallelujah. Glory to God. This is prophetic intercession with Amel. I'm always excited each time I'm coming your way with a prophetic word, with a word from God, with the word of God. If this is the first time you're seeing me, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I pray this becomes an encounter for you. I pray God uses this channel to impart your spiritual life, to add more meaning to your life and your work with God, to be that voice that confirms the voice of the Lord to you. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. God laid this word in my heart. I came across this word and I thought to share with us. And it is coming from the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 12. I'm going to be reading from the King James Bible. It says, Therefore, let him who thinks he stands take heed lest he falls. Let he who thinks he stands take heed lest he falls. There is no point you get to in your walk with God that you feel like you have already attained. Even Apostle Paul says he has not yet attained. He's still pressing forward towards the mark of the high calling. When you think you've gotten to that point where you are comfortable, there is nothing more to do. There is nothing more to say. Be very careful. You might fall into sin. You might fall into temptation. That is why, that is why Apostle Paul is saying here that if you think that you stand you're just thinking because you're yet to stand you when you if you think if you think in your heart that you're standing be very careful because you might fall it is just a thought you have not yet stood here still apostle paul speaking he says walk your salvation with fear and with trembling it means every day you have to wake up with a consciousness that with a consciousness that you're still you're still fighting towards you know running the race fighting the good fight you're still fighting there is no point you get to that you say you have attained there is no point. We keep working our salvation every day with fear and with trembling. We keep guarding our heart lest we fall into temptation. Because he continues by saying that no temptation has ever overtaken you except such as is common to man. There is nothing that, you, that is going to come to you that is not common to man. But you've got to take heed. Be careful. There is no point you get to that you say you've already arrived. We keep working. We keep trusting the faithfulness of God to hold our hands all true. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.